In this tutorial, we will learn how to make a rig for a wall table. I got the idea to make this rig after watching a YouTube video, and I hope you find it helpful. So let's begin. This tutorial uses a demo model with fewer wooden planks to make it easier to understand. You can download the model from my Gumroad page to work along with the video. Now let's start. The rig consists of 11 objects, 2 fixed links, 7 wooden planks, 1 platform, and 1 rod. We will consider the front edges of the wooden planks as hinge joints. We will divide this rig into 3 parts, first rig for the first wooden plank, second rig for the platform, third rig for all the remaining wooden planks. Let's define base bone first. This is a fixed link. And it will be a child of the base bone. Now this is the main control bone. This bone will be the child of the control bone. Now extend the bone from the fixed link bone. Apply inverse kinematic constraint on the plank bone. Now you can see it rotating along the hinge. Parent the wooden plank and rod to this bone. Select the control bone and his child bone and send it to the second layer. Second part, rig for platform. Extend the bone from the plank bone. Now give the copy rotation constraint from the control bone. Parent the platform to the bone. Third part, compete the whole rig. Now, we actually need to understand that this plank will have two motion relative to the rod, one is sliding and second is rotating along the rod, as you can see. Now to achieve this we make this kind of arrangement of the bone. This upper bone will be a child of the plank bone. Arrange the bone like this, and extend it to the bottom side of the platform. Clear parents this bone, and give parents to this bone. Give inverse kinematic constraints. Select this bone and change stretch slider 0 to 1. Select this bone and lock all the movement. Parent the second wooden plank to this locked bone. Duplicate the remaining bones. Rearrange these bones according to platform hinge points. Parents the planks correspond to their bones. Since the model is symmetric, we can use the same bones for the other side of the planks. You can use the Z global axis or Y local axis of control bone to change the distance between wall and the platform. The rig is now ready. You can try this method on the model provided. The main difference is that the real model has actual hinges instead of the hinge edges that we practiced with. Download the model from my Gumroad page and give it a try. If you have any problems, please ask in the comments section. If you have any video suggestions or rigs that you would like me to try, please share them as well. Thank you bye bye.